push day today, chest day, best day, and this is the pre-workout meal I'm having. I'm going to run through this really quickly, and this is a really random side item right here. Let's start with this. The can of pinto beans, a lot of protein, carbs, good for the pre-workout, and two packets of some oatmeal, delicious, two scoops of some my protein whey, which there's a 25% link down below in the description right now. It's a limited time thing, only available on my channel. So if you want whey, I like the mocha, chocolate mint, and the tiramisu flavors. And a banana, and I'm getting ready to post a picture of this breakfast on the Instagram of Fitness Pump Up. I used to post there quite a bit. Kind of forgot I had the app, and I'm starting to post there again. I have 705 followers, and some people there know me. So shout out to Gabriel, Fab Fitness, and Jersat. So we'll post the picture of the breakfast. Say hi to YouTube guys. Check that out. Camera inception. Woo! Boom. Nice filter. There it is. So if you guys want to follow me, you can go there. And it's just a nice place to track your workouts. You can track more than just your photos. You can do workouts, your weight, photos, and activities with different workouts. So I figured I would show it to you guys. You can follow me right there. That's my username. That's my username on every social media, and I'll throw a link down below in the description. Just tracking your stuff when it comes to fitness is always a good thing, so you can look back on where you were and your progress. And I would like to get to this level of body fat again. How is it going guys? Michael back with some more commentary. No live action shots. This is straight commentary time. So sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy this lifting footage. Bench pressing. A lot of bench pressing. This was my push day. And bench went great today. So we started out with the traditional warm-up. Always warming up with just the bar. Making sure nothing's tight. And then you move up 135, 185, and then I bumped it to 2. 25 today and it felt so smooth so first set here 13 reps and this was the first time in my life where i repped 225 for more than 10 reps for five sets five working sets on bench press today so after these five working sets i was exhausted feeling it felt good though feels good to be getting stronger and of a slight change, something so minor. So here you guys can see, ring finger goes on that little mark that are on most barbells. But what I have done the last couple workouts is scooted out one finger's length to the middle finger. So I went from ring finger to middle finger, and that small adjustment has really helped me out. I feel like the reps are a lot smoother, and since my hands aren't as close together, it might just be me, but look right here. I'm not really stopping at the top. I'm repping in a rhythm, which is important for me to do because in my old bench press, which was awful, it's improved so much since November. Struggling with 205 in my old November videos to just destroying 225. I need to move up to some heavier weights. I might start incorporating the slingshot just because it's weird. 225, no problem at all. Feels light. I can rep it for 10 reps, and then I move up to 245, 265 to 75 and the weight feels super heavy so i just have to get used to having that heavy weight in my hand but bench press improvements are there you guys can see them in this video so after the bench press i did some incline benching and super slow on the negative all about the form right here just because bench press i was going for more power more reps and i wanted to slow it down a little bit with the incline barbell press but training has been going great lately. If you guys watched my last workout video, I pulled 465 for five reps on the deadlift and then maxed out at 495. Got that easily. I deadlifted this week, had another great session, and I'm really stringing together a lot of good workouts. And after I finish this commentary, I'm going to go work out with a subscriber, hit some legs. So I'm excited about that. If anyone lives in Tulsa and wants to work out with me, just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And here's a variation to the cable flies right here. So instead of getting the handle attachment, I just grip the actual cable and small adjustments like this make a huge difference. And I find it's harder to do heavy weight. You can't really lift with your ego when you're just gripping the cable, but that means all of that tension is going where you want it to, right on the pec. So 
All in all, this was a great workout in the rest of the workout. You guys are going to see some close grip bench press and some rope extensions and a little update on me. I am still slowly starting to cut. I think right now I'm down to 214 pounds and I started at 218. So just nothing drastic, slow and steady. I've got my calories right now at about 3,100. I'm just being really meticulous, always weighing everything with the food scale and making sure that everything that I eat is tracked in my fitness pal. And another thing I haven't talked about in about a month, I'm working on my five-year YouTube video. I open it up again. And there's one thing, there's one really big piece of exciting news that I'm waiting on that's out of my control. It's a long process. I would love to tell you guys about it, but I am waiting on that to see if it happens or not. It might not. It might go through and I might be really happy to hear that exciting news, but I'm waiting on that because I want it to be really special and I think that would make the video great. So that's going to wrap up the video right now. Keeping it old school. Not a lot of filler in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack that like button down below. And if you want to check out the NASM and their two-week free promo to their online personal training course, it is down below in the description at myusatrainer.com slash MKF. And that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you next video.